What's something that's always wrongly depicted in movies and TV shows? How absolutely loud gunfire is especially in enclosed spaces. Hero in a concrete stairwell. No hearing protection. Bang bang bang. Then hears footsteps as someone sneaks up on them. You'd be deaf and ears ringing for a day after. I looked through this entire comment section and saw a lot of repeats. But I haven't seen this yet. HVAC ducts are not strong enough to hold a human. They are made to hold air. Edit. I must add additional information to my statement after all the HVAC techs commenting. Yes. You can climb in, stand on some ducts. Some are big and strong enough. But these are exceptions. Not the rule. The exceptions can mainly be found in large applications, commercial or industrial, or in some cases. The main branch of the ductwork. Generally speaking, you can't climb in ducts. The main duct is only a small part of the system. The majority is made up of ducts that branch off from the main and deliver air to spaces. Additionally, the HVAC system for a building is typically split into zones. So there's several main ducts, i. e. smaller mains because they have less air. While movies portray otherwise, you can't enter the HVAC system at one point and expect to get anywhere you want in the building. You must enter the right zone. And even then, they won't get much further than the main duct, which is probably located over a hallway, and most likely will not be able to reach specific rooms. That the only thing to worry about in space movies is if a planet has oxygen or not. The way that apparently crime labs solve crimes with DNA tests and unlimited access to every camera in every building in the city. Spare time. When do these people work and where does the money come from? The instant death neck crack. Hacking. The sound usually used for an eagle call in movies is actually the call of a red-tailed hawk. Eagles just don't sound majestic enough. So they did the old switcheroo. Court questioning and police interrogations. Women in fights with long hair not pulled back. Defibrillators are always hilarious. Because that is never how they work. Ever. This is niche. And by niche I mean the nichest of niche. But anyway. In almost every film or television show depicting military combat in the 18th century. Think the American Revolution or the Seven Years War. The soldiers wear their cocked hats, tricorn hats, facing forward. In reality the hats were worn at an angle because if you had to turn your head while shouldering your rifle or musket, it would end up hitting your headwear out of place had they been worn facing forward. The speed at which police forensics can take place. They solve things in minutes that really take days or weeks or months. The 80s. Turn on the radio in the 80s and you could well hear a song from the 60s. House decors were often a mix of the 70s and 80s and cars were often not from that decade. Movies make the 80s out to be neon blue and pink. But I remember the 80s as being very brown. Yellow tint when there is a scene in Mexico. Armor. It's slowly getting better. But you still get fight scenes where a dude cuts through someone's armor or helmet with a sword slash as if it were a pillowcase. In reality, virtually all armor was effective against sword slashes, even gambesons, which were made from layered cloth. You can look up and find examples of people slashing iron chainmail with a steel katana and leaving only a faint scratch on the rings. Plate armor, like the classic knight's suit of armor, was nearly invincible. You couldn't cut or stab through it with anything. Arrows pinged off. Even crossbow bolts and some early bullets did. Especially if the armor was very well made. You had to find a gap, helmet slit, armpits etc, and attack there. Or, conversely, Use a blunt weapon or a big nasty pole weapon that would dent the armor and knock the shit out of the person inside. The most effective weapon against a guy in a suit of plate was actually the humble dagger. Which you would thrust into the dude's eyes after getting him on the ground. Assuming you were a lunatic who didn't care about a nice hefty ransom payment. Plate armor was also designed to have its weight evenly distributed across the strongest parts of the body. Guys inside didn't stomp around like cartoon ogres taking wild swings with their weapons. A man could sprint, roll, do jumping jacks etc. in a suit of plate. A heavy backpack would be more tiring to wear than a fitted suit of plate. We know this because many hobbyists and professionals have acquired antiques or had realistic replicas created and then put them through a litany of tests, the viewing of which can take up dozens if not hundreds of fun hours on YouTube. 
birth when their entire family or friend group dies but they're absolutely fine after a minute or two and just move on irish people hollywood just sees us as scotland light breakfast sip of orange juice bite of toast oh look at the time gotta go ammo remaining in their gun knocking someone out head injuries and hash x 200 b if a person were bonked on the head and knocked out they would 100 percent need a hospital outrunning explosions apparently you only have to worry about the flame and the concussive impact is really minimal fighting you don't have to wait 24 hours to report someone missing the treatment for flatline no you are not supposed to get the defibrillators edit i'm a former cardiology technician student who couldn't quite pass the licensing exam others in the comments below are more knowledgeable than i am i know some stuff cancer treatment the person always has a completely bald head no discoloration because that part of the head has almost never seen the sun but still have their eyebrows perfectly done or else they have no eyebrows again perfectly shaved and they always have their eyelashes chemo causes hair to fall out everywhere but how many actors are going to let makeup get rid of their eyelashes psych hospitals and mental illness in general it's mostly boring you talk to people you do therapy and they get you stabilized on meds any relationship in a romantic comedy would be classified as stalking or harassment in the real world romantic relationships it always bothers me how long people look over at their passenger when driving keep your eyes on the road lock picking is usually laughably wrong no one ever applies tension or uses the right tools hacking i always laugh at the keyboard mashing i think ncis was the worst offender for that one episode had two people using the same keyboard i'm sorry what playing instruments they hold them upside down on the wrong side hands aren't even close to being on the right keys holes horrific fake bowing on strings and terrible fake guitar strumming being able to learn an instrument instantly etc over and out it's a common issue that drives me nuts due to it being relevant to my job i work in coast guard radio monitoring and communications with mariners over means i am done speaking and am now awaiting your response an example is sailing vessel sunny day this is the coast guard over out means i have completed our conversation there will be no further broadcasts from me an example is roger that sunny day you are not in distress coast guard standing by on channel 16 out over and out makes no freaking sense yet it's in everything radio shows commercials cartoons movies books no one ever has to hunt for a parking space they always park right up in front of the building drinking coffee how can you f that up on film they always have empty cups and it's so obvious from the way they carry the cups to the way they sip on average it takes eight to ten minutes to fully strangle an adult to death it's a very personal brutal and exhausting way to kill someone edit i'm not talking about blood chokes i'm talking about two-handed from the front cutting off the airway most drugs would fall into this category but i would say weed would be the best example they make it seem as if though the character just took a hit of dmt whenever someone smokes weed sex no cleanup afterwards really autism knocking out someone with some rag and chloroform high school parties childbirth a lot of times the water doesn't break on its own and labor and delivery take more than a frantic 30 minutes people who pop out of a sewer system in the middle of the street by easily pushing aside the manhole cover those damn things are heavy teenagers weed is an acid what an elementary classroom looks like how to properly use a goddamn inhaler for asthma after reading the comments i'm convinced there is enough good material in here for decent comedy where realism continually gets in the way of the story that a school lesson ends in the middle by the bell while the teacher is talking we plan our lessons to fit into the time period allotted if we do run over we're watching the clock and wrap it up before the bell cars period movies are the worst oh this movie takes place in 1953 
Let's go find 100 vehicle owners with pristine 1953 cars and use them in the movie. In 1953, the majority of cars were not 53s and not all of them were clean and perfect. There were dented cars dirty car even old dented dirty cars. Don't even get me started on almost any racing movie. Outside of Death Race 2000 they're all garbage. Also anytime there's a car stunt that's supposed to be happening like during a car chase and you can see the marks on the road from the first 16 takes they did. Opening presents. The boxes almost always have a top that lifts right off rather than being wrapped like a gift. Anything to do with forensics and autopsies. Medical examiner's offices are incredibly poorly funded. They do not have access to 1% of the technology shown on TV. And in fact, a lot of what is shown just doesn't exist. Breakfast. Why does almost every movie or show have someone make this big breakfast? For the others to take one to two bites and leave? The medieval era. Specifically their castles and foods. Peasants only really ate grey icky gruel in times of hardships. Otherwise a peasant's diet usually consisted of fish, cheese, milk, curds. A favorite dish for any class was pottage. A type of stew that usually had meat or vegetables. They also liked barely. As for their castles, most were not dark and dank like we think they are. Many were brightly decorated with beautiful colors. Wall murals and tapestries. Even their clothing was colorful. Cars don't actually blow up. They might catch fire or smoke. But they won't ever make a huge explosion. Actors using video game controllers. A majority of the time it doesn't look anywhere close to how you'd actually use it. High school social groups. As a high school teacher, I can assure you the jocks don't all wear letter jackets and stand in a circle and beat up the nerds. There's no specific rebellious group of kids smoking cigarettes in the bathroom. Kids from all groups are vaping all of the time. The gay kids aren't picked on. Many of them are very popular. There are kids who are dressed like goths that particular day but aren't actually goths. They just felt like wearing goth clothes that Monday. Kids who play sports also are in math clubs and in band. Kids who love theater and drama can be cool. Nobody uses their locker anymore. Oh yeah. And high schoolers look like kids, teenagers. Not like 30 year olds. I can't stand the way movies and TV depict high school it's so inaccurate. Politics. It's often depicted as a highly intelligent and calculated chess game and not unqualified idiots entering shouting matches. Toothbrushing. They're always so clean about it. Maybe I'm just a messier brusher. People firing guns in enclosed spaces and not dropping the gun from the shock of having their eardrums blown out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.